Hi, I'm Bella Fidel and welcome to the three-step encaustic adventure. This is a comprehensive course in encaustic suitable for experienced artists in any other medium, beginners and anyone in between. The colors that I use are commercial encaustic colors and they are very vibrant colors, very concentrated and I use smaller pieces, I, I break them up in small pieces to, mi to, mi to mix with the, uh, the pure beeswax or the wax and microcrystalline or the medium. Uh, they also now come in tins which are it's very practical you just put the tin on the griddle and this is also a refill. If you want to go the more economical way you use oil paints which you mix with the beeswax. You take I would say less than half an inch, but it depends on how strong you want it to be. You put it inside the can. You add your beeswax mixture. Take a brush. and mix the paint thoroughly. Make sure that it's very well mixed. And this is the more economical way, especially if you also paint in oils, you already have your oil paints. You don't want to use necessarily the more expensive ones, but the better the quality, the better the product, they say. <laughs> We will now go on to create a small painting on top of the two layers that we've put in here. And I just uh, pre-prepared my colors. They take about an hour and a half to melt and I did, not want, I did not want you to wait. Now, I have lots of colors. You do not have to start with so many. You can start with the primary colors plus black and white, red, blue and yellow and black and white and then you can also mix uh, among them. You can add white to the colors or a little bit of black and you'll have uh, a good variety to start with. I like to bring the color to my wood so I don't drip color into others and I don't, you know, they, I keep them pure. So I'm going to put some green here. Now if I want texture, I don't have to be very careful with the way I put the color down. If you want it smoother, you can go slowly like this and you get much, much smoother layers. Make sure your brushes are clean so the colors don't get mixed up. I like texture so I'm, I'm not being very gentle with, with laying down the color but you can of course go very slowly. Now every time you put something down, you have to fuse it. And you know it's fused again when it is shiny. The height will determine how much you're melting. If I want to keep it more the way it is, I go higher.
if I want to melt more, I come closer. Now we need to let this cool a little bit before we add another layer. See, it's a nice effect even though it's not the final one by any means. 